before um, I've been reviewed. I just want to make sure you guys know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was um, called sophomoric, which means immature, which I was also called. And so I've decided to class up my poetry a little bit. Uh, the first one is called The Siren Call of Your Boobies. <laughs> I am Jason, and you call to me. Call my eyes to you to peek at your shape, delighting in your cleave. I long to land on your islands, but Orpheus's leer drowns passion with passion in my deck stays full, your boobies uncaressed, and my chest pounding spurs my rowers to distant shores without such calls. I ride on. I am Odysseus. Tortured by your song, I beg to be released. But the bindings of my mast hold me tight, hold me down. Deaf judgment stings the ears of my protectors, now unwanted in your presence. For I desire your glory, with touch more than sight. Distance becomes a fortress against delight in your boobies. And I ride on. I am Persephone. You, my lamenting lost friends, my abandoned companions, you ceaselessly search for me on Demeter's wings with melodies of reckless enticement, so that when I hear your song, a rupturous volcano shall carry me above the, my sky of rock, where your exposed boobies await to be held in my hand's flesh's eye. I am found. I am home. <laughs> My, um, I was going to read you a really immature poem, um, but that got cut. Um, so this next one is a love poem, sort of, that I wrote for my first wife after we got married. Um, by the way. <laughs> it's called, I am a poem, you are a prison. I am a poem. Imagination, form, perfection. I am the literature of dreams. You are a prison, warden and key, locked down, home of punishment, home of my nightmares. I am a poem, the watering hole for the creative soul, the conduit of metaphor. You are a prison, trapping my feelings in every cell of your body. I am a poem. I saved myself for you to have me, to hear me, but when I read myself to you on our wedding night, you laughed and said I was too short, metaphorically on one level. Literal on two. <laughs> you are a prison. Conjugal visit. Cancelled. I am a poem. Conspiring to steal your heart, but I failed. I was arrested and sent to you a prison. I will never escape. For you grant no parole, though I am a poem. Written in the language of hope. Singing my defense to the harsh beat of the judge's gavel. You are a prison. Think about it. I'm calling you a prison. A prison. That's the worst place on earth. I must really hate you. I am a poem that doesn't rhyme anymore. So there's no point to me, because I don't rhyme anymore. You are a prison. You are the butt of jokes that aren't funny to me, because I know you. I am a poem. A sculpture of words I am made of ink. Shaped in thought, a stream of words on paper, stained paper. Like waterfall would stain paper if water were ink, staining paper rocks below. Like an inkfall would stain your cheeks if ink were your tears after reading me, and you had the ability to cry. But tears cannot escape you either, because you are a prison. Heartless, cruel, unforgiving. And I am a poem, sentenced for life. <laughs> Okay, I'll read one more. Um, this is possibly, I wrote this one day. Um, we'll judge for yourself. It's also about boobies. <laughs> it's called frustration. <laughs> I wanted just the quickest glance, so down and up I took my chance. But your boobs put me in trance. I didn't really mean to stare, but even mountains don't compare to those breasts right there, and fair is fair, just sitting where they call to me. And, call, and because I know one peak is free, my eyes go on a watching spree. 
To my eyes, your tits enthrall. It can't be stopped, its natured call. The force that drives the scrotal ball. <laughs> the top, the side, the cavity. To cover them's depravity. It's strong, this boob, to pupil gravity. <laughs> your boobs are so firm and plump. I like the jiggle when you jump. And although you are walking away right now, I feel the same way about your rump. <laughs>